I, I think that there, I think there should be a theorem, some, something. It's, we're going we're gonna to call it the button complexity theorem, okay? It's a very important theorem, and I think we need to really think about this for a second, okay? When you're first starting off on a project, your button complexity is really, really low. And you know why? Because you have an application that is literally just some HTML. Maybe it's, it, it, you know, who knows what it is, and that sends a direct message to a singular server that is your back end, right? It's a monolith, okay? It's, it's, it's the monolith right here. And that's very simple, okay? So your button just does this one thing, and that's that. And maybe you, you, maybe you, took, maybe you took a few shortcuts, and so there's not like a lot of state management, and you kind of just grab the stuff out of it, and you just kind of update, right? It's simple, right? And so your complexity is really, really low. Your, t your, 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 your mean time to button, your MTB, is really, really low. We're talking, we're talking like less than one week, right? We're talking like nothing. It's nothing. Mean time to button, super, super small. But then at some point, you need to start becoming enterprise, right? You've, you've, you've taken some corners. You've cut some corners. A couple bugs got out into production, right? This would be like your first bug in production, and it causes, it causes a problem. This little takeoff point is, is when the uppers realize that bugs in production exist and they need it to stop. So therefore, a couple things happen. First thing that happens is you bring in state management into your client side. Second thing that happens, this is no longer one application, but some sort of API gateway followed by thousands of little machines that are full of all sorts of things that are like, you know, that you only describe with, with numbers and letters that you can't pronounce without being super smart, right? It all just explodes. And so therefore, you, the engineer, you can no longer edit the front end and just quickly add the back end. Instead, you have to go and talk to Bill over here because no, everybody knows Bill. Everybody's like, F Bill, but Bill has to be the one that edits this machine. Then this thing needs to be updated into this like gateway. And then finally, you can have this effing thing in your front end, but now you got a state management machine. So now you got to think about your state management. You got to think about how this thing flows from top to bottom. You got top down rendering. You got who knows what the hell's going on here. You got an entire system set up to where you got to go ask Tony, hey, Tony, how do we architect a button request? Request because now you don't make requests from your buttons anymore. You have some sort of request factory builder that's somewhere within your application in which you have to use because it needs to be able to do caching because that one time you actually pressed a button and it was a get request and not a put request or a post request, you want to be able to cache this. So it goes through the caching of the request factory and now your button needs to listen to this and be able to react to this and then be able to send all that data to the state manager. And now somehow you're here three weeks later and there's a gosh damn button that needs to be created and you can't create the button because Bill is on fucking vacation! <laughs>